That if we need, we take drive away, okay. right? If we need, but if yeah. we don't, it's 100% drive. That's the turbo is doing everything that it can. The waste gates are just so you don't overspeed. Yes, but that, exactly. So instead of manipulating drive, we manipulate the boost. The drive is 100%. And that thing is just a fail safe. Like the turbo speed is too high, open up, you know. Just a spring or something? Or? I, we, we're well, debating we how yet. Like there's a way to do a spring. But we don't want to do a spring. I think we're gonna do it actually kind of half half. We're gonna do some kind because it's still gonna do CO2 for other stuff on the car, like a shifter in the chutes. Okay. So I think we're gonna do like a high spring that we know that's not going to be overkill, and then we do a CO2 on top. So, so if yes, so if it happens, we take the pressure away and goes just to the spring, so it's not completely open, but it's open enough to be crazy drive. And that's only it's gonna happen past mid track if it happens. So the car's already gone, it's already faster than the motor. Yeah, and that right. thing makes way more power than a lower car. Oh, so if you get that it's thing to be a pro yes, charger yeah. and you run it the same way, yes. but it's like 1500 horsepower or more, yeah, how, how is it slower? Yeah, how is it slow? Like, how is it slow? Right? Like, it's, it's just. It's not possible. No, it, no, the thing would eat a scoob lower alive if you got it right. Mm hmm. Thing ever yeah, you, you <laughs> imagine a twin turbo setup, twin big one, twin 102s or shit like that. But you actually don't have trouble about school. Nothing. <laughs> Right.
already like eight grand. It put fuel in this time though. Yeah. This is a cushion. Like it was, it was fun. Well, I don't have any more faders, so. Ah. <laughs> yeah. And it's actually starting to take away a little bit of bass. Yeah, no, but like a couple PSI, not a lot. But, uh, What's up guys, Cameron, Tech Support Supervisor here from Fuel Tech USA. We have TJ Gatlin. He brought back his awesome single turbo Nova. He's got this badass silverish, greenish paint job and it even looks like it has a vinyl top, although this is paint, I guess. Yep. Um, I guess you want to give everybody a rundown on what the combination is and what you plan on doing with it? Uh, this is a 441 cubic inch small block Chevrolet with a CFE SBX head. Uh, switch turbos from running X, which was an 85 millimeter mid frame, and I went to the Precision 110 millimeter. Okay. Um, gonna go race uh, LDR, see how well I can do with a small block and a single turbo. <laughs> so one of the one of the, the best things about this is being able to take a whole bunch of weight out of the car compared to X trim. Yep. Um, and you get to run a bigger turbo at the same time, so more power, less weight. That's always a good time. Oh yeah. Um, we made uh, about 2,250 um, horsepower, but we did notice that it started to kind of run through the converter, so we got some tweaking and stuff that you gotta do for that. Yep. Um, but overall, really healthy, very responsive, car runs good, sounds good, spools awesome. Um, I guess, I, I know that you've been on the dyno before, this is your second time, so how was your experience this time compared to last time? And, and it, you know, is this something that you'd recommend for everybody else to do, or, you know, why don't you give us a rundown on that? Um, first experience on the dyno, uh, there was a there was a lot of things I was missing, and that that's coming unprepared. So, uh, the first experience was long and drawn out, uh, but it was a, a good experience. And uh, the second experience is definitely uh, even better. Uh, it, it, I didn't have as many things that were missing <laughs> on the car, <laughs> so. Uh, it, uh, it, it turned out really well. I'm really happy and definitely um, uh, recommend it to everybody. I mean, hell, I'm bringing my street truck down here after it's finished up just to, to get it taken care of. So um, I, I'm really happy. So, Well, awesome. Hopefully you have good luck in the LDR and you heard it straight from the guy's mouth. It's the best idea to bring your car down to Fuel Tech to have all the bugs and everything worked out while we teach you how everything works. And we'll see you guys next time.